action is boring if it's not if you're not if character's not central to it. You know, I just want I, I'm so excited for people to go to the theater. I think the idea to me of people saying we're gonna have a huge experience and we're gonna go there and we're gonna have fun and we're gonna have enjoy this crazy ride, to me that's what's exciting about this movie. And I think I'd love for people to take away also that the movie is a love letter to EMTs, you know, and first responders. It really is. Um, the incredible work they do. And yes, it gets big and, and bigger than life sometimes, but at the heart of it is the incredible work they do. We uh, play brothers in the film, and for us, that's what we wanted to come in and protect, which means that we had to be honest. We couldn't take ourselves seriously. We had to depend upon one another, you know, to get through the day, to get through the scenes. And we just, at the end of the day, just really had a ball. You know, we just came in. It was sort of like a say yes, yes and. And, and that's what we did. We were very playful, and uh, we had a good time. Yeah, yeah, you go on your left. I just wish that they pay attention to what the paramedics and the first responders have been doing this entire two years. I'm so honored to be playing them and it was just most, it was literally the most terrifying process of my life because I got it in the peak of the pandemic, the script, and I just was really nervous and, and really thought who am I to be bringing this character to life. It should be someone that is capacitated for this and um, and I just loved what a love letter it was to first responders but also for female paramedics and and I felt like as a woman of color being a Mexican woman an immigrant I, I just wanted to see more characters like this on screen being a woman like me that doesn't necessarily have to make a point of where she comes from or where she is and it just creates a norm and so I just hope that when people watch this Think about the real life superheroes. These are the real life superheroes, the, the the heroes without capes, and they have been sacrificing their entire lives in the last more than ever for for us. You know what the thing with Michael Bay is like? The people who I know have worked for him. It's just so it's just impressive how fast he shoots, how he shoots. I mean, obviously we're big. We're in the Red family, so both of us are, you know, obviously he's a massive director, I'm a small director, but we both love Red, and so I just, I love watching him and, and his process. It's surreal. I am, it's so exciting. Just meeting the whole cast and crew, it's amazing. Oh, I mean, it's like, I just try to go out and make each one different and uh, give people an experience in the theater. Uh, this was uh, shot during the height of the pandemic, which was a great cast. What I like about this movie is it's a it's a very immer audiences I've seen it with big audiences it's very immersive and because it's very tense it's like if you were on a crime what would it feel like if it all goes wrong and it's all happening very very fast it's everything you imagine so you have to prepare but then you have to be prepared to throw it all away and just and just roll with it and riff and he's he truly is a genius and he knows his shots he knows what he wants and so you just have to trust and go with it. I want them to know that, you know, good old Hollywood action movies are still a thing and it's good to have fun, eat your popcorn, and watch a movie for the fun of it. Every movie is not supposed to be an Oscar-nominated picture, and that's great too, but you can just have fun at the movies. I think there's two things. There's a little girl in it that you meet early on, and for my money, she brings it home into your heart. And one thing that people don't imagine in a movie like this is that the ethical considerations that get these guys to do what they do at the beginning is only the first ethical consideration of a whole string of them. As this movie unfolds, they're constantly having to figure out, okay, given this new situation, how can I do the least harm? And of course, in a movie like this, you think, well, wh why would that be a part of it? But that's, that's why the movie works so beautifully, is because these people remain human and they're still trying to figure out how to get through this day with the least damage. And of course, it's going to be horrific any way you cut it, but they try. Well, I hear we have 250 LAPD sheriff, firefighters, uh, uh, paramedics here today, I swear to God. Yeah.